All right, just looking at the overview of the diagram, this one shows an electric clutch, which uh, the bottle I'm working on here has got the manual engagement of the belt with the lever up the side, which you move back to engage the, the belt itself, which moves this engagement pulley on the right if you're standing at the back of the mower. This is your, the left one is your uh, tension pulley. It can move back on, you've got several holes on that back bracket to move this pulley backwards to put more tension on the belt. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is take the belt off the drive pulley at the front and in when it's disengaged this belt is quite loose actually because you can have the engine going it's not turning this cutter pulley down here so we'll remove that one which just you can just take it off by hand you don't have to take any mechanical part off it just will pull out and un, uh, undo from the brackets that the guide brackets and you can pull it down then you can pull it back a bit here and you can get it over the bar I'll show you how to do that both these pulleys have to physically come off to take this belt off because they got guides on them that once it's screwed in you cannot get the bolt out until you take the actual pulleys off so you can get it out from the guides to remove the belt itself okay let's begin now how this works is obviously it's driven from the drive pulley up here under the motor and it goes around these tent, the tension pulley here to the cutting pulley here and back around to the engaging pulley over this side this side is the one where you push your lever down the one at the back it will move back and create the tension you need to start driving this cutter pulley um, this is your tensioner pulley for the belt itself now this has on the back is seven adjustment holes on this model I think by um, factory it might be in the middle I'm not sure where it is in the factory straight out of the factory it might be at number one but I doubt it. I think it's at the middle so it's got three holes each side for adjustment obviously as the belt wears you want to go backwards to create more tension in the belt but I've got a new belt this is a new belt here for this model uh, and it's the replacement these days is not the old original GT numbers this one is a BELB probably for belt I suppose and the number is 100 part number BLB 100 so that's the one I've been advised it's got a nice uh, thick side to it which I like all these pulleys are V, what they call V pulleys, meaning that the the V of the belt fits into the pulley, which is different with the drive belt. As you've got some of the pulleys, the belt goes on the back. These all go into the pulley. Each pulley is the same. Drive pulley, uh, sorry, V pulley, V pulley, V pulley, V pulley. So that's how it all works. So today uh, we're going to replace this belt. First thing I'm going to do is take the belt off of the drive pulley. Now when the belt's disengaged it should be a bit of looseness to it so you're not engaging the blades while you're, you're running the, the engine. You only engage the blades when you push down on your lever and pull it back which pushes this pulley back on one side creates the tension and the way your blades go. So it, it, when that is disengaged we can get under here and take this off by hand which is pretty easy to do just take it out of the guides and there's, there's that down right now we've got a couple of um, some of these guide pulleys you can pull the belt up once you get it undone now the, each of these guide pulleys at the back they have guides at the top and the bottom to keep the belt from flying off or if you know what I mean maybe when you get it loose and it's slowing down it could fly off so they have these uh, back guides on it one at the top one at the bottom uh, to keep it in place so there's no way of getting that belt on unless you take these 
to use both these pulleys off to bring it out from these these guides. Then you put your belt on and push the with the belt on, push it back into the guide so it, it's complete. What you'll need is a 13 mil for these bolts, sorry the nuts on this side, the bolt itself on the back, sorry 14 mil here, 14 mil on this side and the bolt is a 15 mil. I haven't got a, 30, a 15 mil spinner, ring spinner so I'm just going to have to use a shifter to hold it so I can undo it. Um, where's, where's the, uh, now to make it a bit easier myself I've got a, a, uh, a ratchet to use. Okay. So I've designed, not designed, but I've put, put together a, a ratchet with an extension, two extensions. I'm getting a 30 mil. Sorry, 40 mil. I won't, that's the 15. But I haven't got another one of these to use. So that's what I've used to get under here. So I can do this undo it uh, fairly easily this side. So I've used the extension. Now, just bending that. I hope it's off before, obviously, it's quite free. But that bolt is spinning. So that's where you need the 15 mil on the back. You need your 15 mil on the back to hold it. Okay, so we're getting this nut off. And there's a little washer in front. Take that off at the same time. There's a nut. There's our washer. And there's the pulley. Now, you can see, hopefully, this um, when I take it off, of course. So that's our tension pulley. And as you can see now, there's the, there's the guides that sits at the back. And that's uh, currently in, I'll just take that off so you can see it. It's from it moving, stopping it from moving to a certain degree. So that's you got that top lip there to stop it from moving around, obviously. But taking that off, you can see now see the, the adjustment. There's the seven holes. So bring it back into the next hole. Um, now this being a new belt, I'm going to put it back to the original setting, which is the one in the middle. So I'm going to take it back. The seven holes, obviously, the one in the middle is the fourth one. Uh, and this will go back there with the lip at the top, which will stop it from doing this business. Obviously, you can see by the shape of that, uh, it's elevated up at, the, at this end for it to go in and out to, with a bit more ease. It won't scrape. So remember, this is the tension, and this is the engaging pulley over here. And it's got the same guide on it. Again, you're going to have to undo this one to get this belt off completely. But seeing we've got this slackness, so I probably can get this, so I've got that over there. I didn't have to uh, bother about removing this, but the other side, it's got more, more of a tension on it. I'll probably have to undo that to get it out. I'll go have a look. Oh, 
What have we got here? Okay, that's part of it. Okay, so we can move it back to get that undone. There we go. That was easy. You can pull it. They do say you undo this, but look, you can probably just feed it through. Um, we're back to this pulley here. Now that's not going to come out. That pulley, this belt's not going to come out of this tension uh, engaging pulley unless we undo it. So that's the next job. So you see I did that, but to, un to get that belt, I just moved the engaging lever back and it allowed me to get that out. I didn't have to undo anything. You can have a good inspection while you're under here too and that makes sure that everything's clear. You can get a lot of build up of dirt and grime in here can, can interfere with the engage rod back here, the engagement pulley. It's probably you can see now that the, the one on the, my side is the only one that moves. That's the engagement pulley. This is just the tension one over here where the bolt fell out earlier. Um, picking it up, one, two, three, in the middle, there we go, so, and this should be up like this, so it sits at the top, so it doesn't move, and the same with the one I've got to put back on, so, We can take our old belt out and we'll put a new one. So we can probably start by feeding this through here. So, as you can see, that's how it sits in flat side out, V shape in the V pulley itself. Right. I'm do some feeding here. <coughs> we'll start with this one over here.
So we've got our belt running behind the engaging pulley. We've got our guide sitting right at the top so it's not going to move around. It's sitting on a little shelf up which will sort of stop it from going anywhere else. We've got our pulley. <coughs> and we can put that back on. We've got to make sure that it's sitting, the belt is sitting in the pulley. Pull some out of the It's sitting in the pulley and in the guides. Now the guides moving around because these things want to play games. Hang on, put that through. So we've got the belt on right, we've got it fed through the, through the guides and the guide is correct, it's got its block at the top to stop it from moving around. So we can do that one up. Okay, so when you're doing this, the belt from being flat in the V pulleys should only have to turn half a turn to get to the next pulley, only half. If it's more than the half, your belt's twisted, you just got to undo it, uh, pull it out and flip it in and out till you get it so it's only a half a turn. You don't have to take the whole thing off, you can do it as long as that's correct. If it's on here and goes back to that one and it's only gone half a turn to get to the next pulley and it comes out in a V shape at the top and it's correct there, it's going to line up properly. If it's not correct here, just take it out of the pulley. I, I had to do that because it was, it, was, it was a hole twisted a turn. I thought, well, this is not right. So I had to take it out, bring it out and flip it in till it only it's going to be half a turn in the wheel. So put the wheel back on is the next step.
Okay, we got the wheel on, and we got made sure that the guide block is at the top, so we can't spin around. We're just going to tighten that up. Like I said, you need. As you can see, that's only turning half a turn to, to have a flat at the top and it's coming out flat at the top and that's going to be flat at the drive point, it's exactly what you want. I don't know how this is at the moment. We should be able to just put this on at the top here by hand. Being new, I want it to be a little turn like that. So that's pretty good. So we're only going half a turn into here, just turning from that to that, from that to that for the back tension pulley. And if we look at the other side, just to check, that is turning. I need the torch over here. It's only turning half a turn too, so that's flat there, turning half a turn and flat on there. Right. So that's got plenty of play. It's not going to turn this wheel when the motor's spinning. It's just going to be turning and it's not going to be doing. So we'll start it up. Just to recap, put this belt on. You start off by taking the belt off at the uh, main pulley at the engine, which drives the whole setup. Next, you do is you can pull the. You can either start taking it off here or here, but obviously you can pull the belt back a bit and just get this out here. Pull it up over this uh, bolt, which in a way uh, feeds it onto this the dry pulley sorry the cutter pulley and to get it off the other side you just uh, this being a manual engagement you just take your lever back and that'll release the uh, belt on that side to get it off and I just pull it through here you can take this off if, if you want to make it easier again but there's enough room to just pull it pull it up and pull it through here to get it off these back pulleys, this is the adjustment pulley, tension pulley, and that's your engage, engagement pulley over that side. Two totally different jobs, 
That one moves, this one's uh, rigid, it doesn't move at all, but you can move the pulley backwards and forwards on on the shaft itself. It has seven holes you can you can use. I'd say they're in the middle from factory, but uh, going on the size of the belt. And you've got three more positions to go back further to add more tension if this wears. Um, the back, the uh, engagement pulley over there, uh, it sits on a spring and on a shaft, so it can move, it can move backwards and forwards. The pulley itself, and I, and that's so. There's, uh, if it was rigid, it this belt would probably stretch easier. So it gives this belt a bit of leeway to to bed the bed in, you know, to take up the uh, the torque and things like that. So that's the idea of it. It just helps this belt not get stretched so easily in and to break. Um, also, with your belt, again, it's only a half a turn from from one pulley to the next. So your belt is like that there, and it turns like that to go into this one. Same on the other side, half a turn. You'll know you've got it on right. If it's twisted here, you can you can just pull it out of it. You don't have to take it off if you've done it done it over there, and just flip it around till it till it um, measures up that way. That's pretty much it. Make sure you. This this is uh, 14 mil. The bolts at the back are 15. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay. Thanks for watching.